Hey, today we're gonna talk on the golf course. I'm gonna play a few holes with you guys today and we're gonna teach you how to stop thinking. Hey guys, I'm as guilty as you are of getting too mechanical about the golf swing. And, and you know, I spend all this time on the range and I teach you guys lots of ways to make your swing better, work on your swing mechanics, we work on all the details. But when you get out here to the golf course, you have to stop thinking. Today I wanna to talk to you and help you learn how to stop thinking. I honestly think that stopping thinking on the course while you're playing, and maybe stopping thinking isn't even the way to say it. Maybe it's just getting empty or just getting in the moment and playing good shots. I think it's a skill you have to learn. I wanna show you how I do it. One of the things that, that I talk about a lot is just red zone, green zone. You can go through all my pre-shot stuff, but for example, this is a par four, it's 420 yards, not too long. Dog leg, dog leg slightly right because you gotta kinda keep it left off the tee. So I always go to the, to the right side of the tee. Now, in the context of not thinking, the first part of my process here is just pure strategy, right? What, how do I wanna play the hole? And going to the right side of the tee lines me up down the left side. So from, from the angle, if I'm over on this side, it gives me a favorable angle to hit it down the left side. So I, I basically set myself up for success. I see way too many people get to the wrong side of the tee and they just, they just are already kind of in a precarious situation from their very first shot. So let's just make sure st we strategize the hole well. Then I basically make a decision, okay, pick a target line. Now, my target line, usually I pick out a spot, but, but you notice that I've lined the ball up as well. See the lines on the ball? Again, I'm not trying to overthink this. There's, just a, there's a certain uh, number of things I do to set myself up for success. So I pick the correct side of the tee. I like the ball lined up. Now, here's where, here's where it gets important to not think. When I step in here to hit the shot, this is what I call green zone in here. When I step in here and hit the shot and I set the club down to, to the alignment of the ball, I set my ball position, I get comfortable. The most important thing I do in here is get comfortable but notice that when I, when I go into green zone and I set the ball da club down and I'm lined up, it's all been taken care of for me because the ball is lined up, I'm on the correct side of the tee. So everything I've done here is set myself up. So all I really need to do is make a good swing. So rhythm, me making a good swing, getting in rhythm is the most important part of everything that I do. So here we go, I'm gonna hit this shot. Everything's already set up for me. Just get comfortable. Get comfortable, and getting comfortable to me is the most important part of all of this. And let's talk about how I just hit that. So when I got in there, you didn't see me think about my grip. You didn't see me worry about my arm position. You didn't see me worry about my feet. You saw me step in, get comfortable, get kind of get a, a little rehearsal kind of comfort, and then I hit. There wasn't any thinking about grip or alignment or stance. That was all taken care of from strategy, from prepping that address position and working on the range. And I just got there and I swung. Let's go down and hit this shot and see where it went. So this shot, I mean, it's right between the bunkers, right down the middle. Um, it's actually pretty good because it's kind of into the wind. So um, again, First thing I'm gonna do is just strategize. I think the biggest thing about not thinking is it's okay to, to get, pick up the data. What do you need to hit a good shot here? So I'm gonna just get a yardage really fast. And good data is not, let me kind of preface this, good data is not watch out for the water. <laughs> That's not good data. Good data is what do I want? What's in front of me? What am I, what's the shot I wanna hit? So I'm gonna just kick, get a yardage really quick for, to the flag. 116. So I got 116 and <sighs> pins on the front. I'm gonna catch, I'm just gonna catch that front slope of the green because I wanna know how far it is to carry to that edge of the green. 97. So basically 97 to, to get over that little hump, 116 flag. So, all right, so I hit a wedge 128. I don't really have that shot, so what I'm gonna do and here's kind of a little, little tidbit for you. 
I would rather be a little past the flag than obviously landing it short. It's into the wind. So I'm gonna take this wedge, which goes between 125 and 128, and I'm gonna hit a 100, I'm gonna hit an easy wedge. So I'm gonna try to flight this in there and hit it in there about 110 yards. And oh, it also, quickly, Notice I wanna be, come over here just a second, look at this angle right from here. You'll notice that the left side is, is pretty open. You got that bunker to mess with on the right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay just, if I can, flag, flag left. Step it into my dress position here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my hands down on the club just to take a little bit of the speed off of it. Get comfortable. Look at that, just left of it. A little bit long, okay, that's great. I mean, so safe shot, pretty good shot, just up to the flag. Let me tell, I'm gonna walk you through this really fast. I don't wanna do it with the club in my hand though, I wanna show you this. So, I'll walk in here like this. I basically, okay, I got this shot, right? I decided, I made a decision, hit the wedge. That's very important to me, is to make a decision committed because if you had, let's say I had a nine iron or I were to grab my lob wedge, I gotta swing hard. So now I'm like, it's not committed. I gotta swing too hard at it. And a lot of people I see is try to swing too hard at the golf ball. So I, I was committed to the wedge. I stepped in here, all right, felt good. Like that shot, bang. Notice I didn't spend a lot of time in, in there. I don't spend a lot of time. People spend way too much time when they're gonna hit the ball. They start thinking, thinking thinking, thinking, and then they forget that it's a rhythm game. You gotta step up there and just hit the shot. So we're gonna start, we're gonna talk, go up there and hit this putt, and talk about how to not think on the putt. All right, so the ball kinda came in, probably hit about hole high, ran into the fringe here. So interesting about this, I brought two clubs down because I didn't really know um, if I was gonna putt this or chip this, and you can do either one. It's, there's no right or wrong to either one. However, when I have, some messy stuff between here and the green, you know it's gonna slow it down. It's uphill and it's side hill. So it's kind of messy. If this was if this was perfectly flat, I'd putt it. But it's not. It's gonna it's gonna slow the ball down and kick it to the right. So I, I don't like this, so I'm probably gonna chip it. But putting it's not a if you want to putt it, that's fine. You just gotta make sure you play the right shot. Alright, so let's get a read on this. So I see it. I'm gonna try to bump it in here super fast. I think it's gonna come down just to the left there. So Little bump shot with a, I got a 53 here. And again, I'm just, what am I doing right here? I'm just looking where I want to land it. I'm just gonna bump it into that, right on a couple feet onto the green and let it roll out. I wanna get the ball rolling. Then when I step in here, I always like rehearsals when I'm chipping. So a couple little bump rehearsals, kind of a little feel. Not getting too, not thinking too much, just a little feel shot. Then watch this. I go from a little bit of feel to step up, line it up, take a quick look, get set, and then bump. And I want you to notice how fast that was. Like I want you to notice that I didn't spend a lot of time there. I'm gonna hit that shot again, I wanna show you this. Cause I see, what I see too many times is people, they, they're overthinking it, overthinking, overthinking it, and then by the time they go to hit it, they're just, they're out of rhythm. To me, look at the rhythm of this. And I, I'm gonna stop talking, because I know I've been talking a lot. I'm just gonna hit the shot, and just I just want you to see the process of this, okay? And so, you saw what I did there, it was, it was, can I get a feel for it? Step up, boom. Translate feel into shot. Okay, one more time because because I want you to really get this. I want you to see, see the rhythm of this. And by the way, another thing I wanna mention here, these are not practice strokes. Practice strokes would be working on technique. These are not technique strokes. These are feel strokes. These are just, just feeling it feeling it, and then bumping it. 
right? So there's a huge difference between practice and feel, a huge difference, right? And notice the third one I make because I had got the better feel for it, but it's feel and then execute. Too many people are thinking, 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 and then they can't execute. Okay, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna talk as much through these shots, but I want you to pay attention to the fact that on each shot, I'm just to have a little strategy to it, then I get in my rhythm and I hit it. So here we go. Gotta keep it on the left side. So I'm gonna go to the right side of the tee and line the ball up. So here we go. And just make sure your ball has a nice, nice line for you here so you feel comfortable with that, okay? Now, all right, commit, I got it. Feel good about that. Step in here, let's get comfortable. Get on that line, feeling good, it's a great. Feeling good. I like it, it's a little left, but I like it. Yeah, take it. Okay, let's get our, let our, let's get our data here. Let's get the info we need. How far do we got? So pretty good, pretty good. When you keep it left here, it makes the hole a little longer. So I got 186, um, pretty far. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna hit a little six iron. Normally, and just, just to give you a little data on the shot, normally I'd probably hit a seven iron, but um, but notice it's all elevated. So, so if you don't get this all the way there, it just doesn't get up to the green. So you just gotta hit enough club and this potentially will get over the back, but it's better to be there than short. So let's just hit the, hit the six iron. Not bad. And so again, notice, just quickly notice that when I, I picked the shot, made a decision, stepped in here, got my line, and just got comfortable and made a swing. There was no technical things going on. I wasn't thinking about grip. I was just thinking about feeling good before I pulled the trigger on that. So again, you see the kind of the ball, it's, um, it's this one I am gonna putt because this, it's pretty level here, pretty flat, and there's not a lot going on here. There's no big slope, so now I'm just gonna take a quick read. One of the things I like to do when I read is just kinda see where I think the ball is gonna go in the hole, and I kinda feel it coming in, sloping this way, so it's gotta come in this side. So think about that for a second. If the ball is coming in on the, if I see it entering on this side of the hole, that means the most important part of this putt is to keep it on, on, on the left side over here. If I get it over there, it's not gonna go in. So let me come back here and take one more look. All right, now all I gotta do is line the putter up and make a stroke that goes, stays left and can come in the left side. Notice that I'm not getting super technical. So I'm just gonna make a couple of feel strokes, set the putter down I like it on that left side there and just try to make a run. Uh, it's gonna stay left. Um, I love that putt. I love when it stays on the high side. Anyway, that's kind of what I want you to understand about today's show was I'm not getting into these shots with technical, and from technical thoughts. I've made decisions, I've stepped up, I feel it and I hit it. So I've gone from collecting data, getting technical about it a little bit as far as what, what do I want, committing to that, making a decision and committing to that, feeling it and hitting it. And I think that feeling it, hitting it part is the part that people get make a mistake because they never get to it. They don't get to where they feel it and hit it or they just never have learned to let go of the all the technical stuff and just hit a golf shot without thinking. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's content. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want more information about the single point swing or anything we do on our channel. And click the bell icon and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.